So, would you like to play a game like Frostpunk, but in space? If your answer is a resounding yes, then this is a good day to die. Uh, I mean play. Authorize the dispatch of new crew members and food supplies. Please ensure that they have suitable accommodation once you reach Proxima Centauri. My name is Peter, and let me tell you about Ixion, a space station slash starship building survival and exploration game by the developers at Bulwark Studios. Its demo, whose full gameplay you can watch in my other video, is available from today as part of Steam's next fest lasting from the 21st to the 28th of February. In Ixion, you are an administrator of a space station in Earth's orbit and part of a major project by a private corporation called Dolos to colonize other star systems and solve Earth's overpopulation problem by moving the people out to other planets. The huge space station you take command of turns out to be a spaceship after all, as you get to upgrade it with a massive new experimental engine. This is just one of many upgrades you can add to the outside of it, while the inside is divided into six sections and each into many tiles which you can build individual buildings on. This is where you house your population, build food and material processing plants, clinics and a number of dock-like structures. These let you construct different types of small craft which have specialized uses. A transport spacecraft is used to move resources from plants and other ships or stations to your own, while the science ship is sent to missions to gather information, research points and contact other outposts. There is even a mining ship, which is sent to bring back raw materials from asteroids, so they can be turned into parts and goods inside processing plants on the station. In true Frostpunk fashion, there are different characters and mini-stories. By making it the first exclusive trade, partner of the Titan. Eden will then take care of everything via their DLS accreditation. Greetings, Administrator. I'm Dr. Abhinav Muchi. As well as the people, who make requests of you and can even kick you out of your administrator's office if they are not satisfied with you. I have actually talked about both Frostpunk 2 and Ixion in one of my previous lists of upcoming simulation and management games, among more than a dozen others and you can find more similar games there, link up here and below. There is an overreaching storyline which starts all hopeful and bright only to get very dark and disastrous after only an hour or so of gameplay. I mean, this is a Frostpunk-like game after all, you didn't really expect world peace and love, did you now? The three different views, interior, exterior and solar, give you an easy way to switch between dealing with a minor request for more homes or food from your station's inhabitants, to affecting course changes for the entire station on its galactic journey. On that solar map, you can fire off and use probes to scan and locate new sources of different raw materials necessary for building ships and upgrading the station. It is kinda like a minigame, but it keeps to astrological standards, like asteroid belts being logical sources of most of the materials. Inside the station itself, you drop off those resources which can be iron for alloy production, carbon for crafting polymers, silicon for creation of electronics, hydrogen for fueling power plants, and besides those, there are water and food, as well as waste, which is totally recyclable back into raw or even processed resources. NASA would be proud. Your population can be awake and walking about, at which point you need to house and feed them, or a sleeping cryo, waiting for their own place in this new world or, uh, well, a space order. Another glaring similarity to Frostbunk is how the tutorial info panels are set up and organized, as well as having examples and written instructions which you can consult at any point. The notification system lets you quickly jump to points of interest and between multiple views. There is actual technology you must research to improve the various parts of the station and unlock new more advanced gizmos, buildings, processes and ways of life. The science necessary to do research is produced at a slow rate by the tech lab, but much more is gained when you send your science ship to explore the solar system and make discoveries. Power supply overloaded. The tech lab and many other buildings all require power, which is produced from a number of sources, 
some external, some internal. Solar panels on the outside can be numerous and are upgradable, changing the look of the station. While inside, you can construct nuclear power plants, but this requires gaining new knowledge and unlocking the required tech. There is a system of power shortages and you have full control over what buildings to take off the power network so you can reboot it. Just remember to turn them back on after you upgrade your power production capacity. During the demo version, you are only given the ability to build in one section of the huge space station Starship, but there are six in total. Here you add roads, as all buildings require them, and construct various starting buildings like residences for population, a clinic to take care of all sorts of space sicknesses, food processing and even food production, as well as docks for various spacecraft. The system of resource storage is much like in Frostpunk, as you build individual stockpiles and choose which one stores which resource. You even start by collecting your first resources from future building spots inside the station. The builders come from workshops and use mechs to construct buildings from the ground up. You can zoom into everything and enjoy the beautiful and lively space station, follow the workers on their jobs, while enjoying the great background music and listening to the atmosphere of an enclosed space station habitat. There is a marked lack of plants and gardens, but I hope those are unlocked later. But for now, all you have is this grey metal. Some might want to draw parallels between this game and Starbase Startopia, but there is no trace of the humor that game possesses. The station's interior look and behavior is very similar. Down to the internal gravity being generated by the shape and spin of the station and with build areas being sectioned off. Ixian's story is in the vastness of the universe and turns from bleak into dark very early on and can only get worse from there, meaning similarities to star-based Artopia are mostly superficial. Held in its bosom are the ingredients of evolution. Beyond raw survival, beyond the safety of comfort, we, humanity, pursue something greater. We have learnt, persevered, shaped our knowledge from that which is found in the furthest realms of science. However, humanity has brought destruction to the earth, polluted its blood, choked its breath. Today we are paying the price for this. We know the taste of a dying world. But the earth is not to be our grave. In my humble opinion, and with the limited gameplay experience so far, I think the developers managed to capture the magic of Frostpunk and transfer it from the freezing embrace of the everlasting terrestrial winter in that game to the absolute zero and vacuum of space in this one. It feels ominous, looks dark, gives off a sense of desperation and survival and has a good cast of eccentric characters, all with excellent voice acting. The multi-level gameplay has been upped by one from Frostpunk as there are three gameplay spaces, interior, exterior and galactic, and the extra science, trade and mining ships give you a good sense of reach across the local star system. With Frostbank 2 still who knows how far away, I do believe all of us will enjoy Ixian a lot. The demo now and hopefully the full gameplay soon to follow. My full gameplay of this demo is just a click away as a card on the screen. If you have noticed any similarities I have missed to point out, feel free to tell me so in the comments below and remember to hit that like button and subscribe to see more of this game on my channel. Thank you for watching and happy gaming.